Good afternoon. It's Wednesday, June 6th. I uh, got home from work a little bit ago. Laid around. Uh, made sure things finished up with the Blu-ray burn, which I practically just had to restart, but I got it burnt off. Um, and uh, so I finished that from yesterday. I was thinking, well, I could sit down and do some computer stuff, or, or maybe try and clean some things around here, but, but, but I thought something. See, yesterday... I didn't go for a walk. I intended to go for a walk. My plan was was a good one. I went, that is a wise one when you think of it. Let's put the walk off towards near the evening when it starts to cool down again so it'll be cooler out than if I just go in the middle of the day when it's at its hottest. However, I ran into the issue yesterday that could very well plague me anytime I do that of things just didn't fall exactly into place taking the exact amount of times and with just a little bit of error I missed out. I didn't get to go for a walk. I need the exercise, so I need to do that. So today, I'm going to grab a bottle of water, because it'll be hot out. Uh, and I'm just going to go for a walk now, in the middle of the day. And it is really hot out, but at least I'll get my walk in. At least I'm not going to miss it today. What is it out? Can't be too bad, right? Uh, and only 91 degrees outside right now. That's, that could be worse. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, let's get to that now, and then other stuff after the walk. And yeah, it's uh, pretty warm. And as I do walking like this, I, I kind of wonder, am I just basically strengthening my legs? Or am I actually burning fat in areas I care to burn fat? And I don't really know the answer. I might, I might not be probably still a good thing to do either way, but... <laughs> At least I'm out here, right? At this point, I am very miserable, and I've drank in my water, and uh, it's very hot, and uh, just, just keeping going. And I'm at the hill, too, so that doesn't make it better. <laughs> just over this hill! And another quarter to third of a mile. <laughs> it's hot out. I was probably a third to halfway through the walk and I was thinking, this ain't bad. I was barely sweating. It wasn't long after that that it got bad. It got real bad. Uh, <laughs> It wasn't so bad when I was walking and there was a breeze. But there was enough of the walk where there was no breeze that it was pretty bad. And I ran out of water. Probably two thirds through. But uh, heart's racing and uh, you know, it's, uh, the, the point is to, to get some exercise and I feel like I probably achieved that. Uh, now I'm going to lay down, because laying down is good, and I'm thawing some ground beef to be able to make, uh, dinner here in a couple hours, but I'm just hungry now after that walk, so I'd made myself a sandwich. Uh, hopefully I don't spoil my dinner, but, oh well, do what I must. So I did some editing and stuff like that. And I am now going to make some dinner, some hamburger helper. I'm going to do crunchy taco, which I really like, but is not the best for taking like with me, like to have lunches. So I don't get it as often as some of the other ones, some of the pasta based ones that basically reheat in the microwave better. But I just really want to even, I mean, like worst case, if I just have it for today and I eat it all, then it's, it's fine. I'll figure out something else when I need lunches. And I gotta say, the more I've cooked ground beef, the less the smell of it bothers me. It's just kind of normal now. Like when I first moved in, the first couple times I did ground beef, it was terrible. Uh, but at this point it's like, eh, it's cooking. It's fine. It doesn't bother me really at all. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble.
Okay. Um, so I got it plated, and I got the sauce ready. And it also comes with um, basically corn chips, basically. And, uh, and I went to put those on, but fortunately, I, I smelled them first. And I was like, this smells a little off, and I take one, I bite it. And it is bad. They were so bad. And I'm like, what is wrong? I don't know if you can read that. Let's see if I can focus here. This says, better if used by 13th of June, 2014. Let me just read that again. Better if used by 13th of June, 2014. Um, this, uh, I believe would be one of the boxes that I probably got that mom had set aside and she was all like, here. Well, uh, and I probably looked at it June 13th and assumed the year was this year. Okay. It's not. It's 2014. That's... That part is fine. I'm not surprised that seasoning and that is rice. Both of those pretty much last. Now there's a cheese sauce that basically is made with, with milk that I just used, so the milk is good. And I think it's gonna be fine, but I'm a little nervous to put it on. I have Fritos, so I have my own corn chips. So basically, I'm going to eat a meal that expired in 2014. This is very anti-me. And if I'd, if I'd have seen that before I cooked it, there wouldn't be a chance. If I'd have noticed it at this point, in most other situations, there wouldn't be a chance. But I put hamburger into it, That's and, and a lot of milk. It's not cheap. I don't want it to go to waste. So as long as it's good, which I'm hopeful that it will be, I'm still gonna eat it. I decided not to use the cheese sauce. It just, it seems too likely to be bad, so I just have plain. It's, it's not gonna be as good without it, but Hopefully, as long as I avoid that, hopefully I can avoid getting sick. We'll see. And so for a meal that's, you know, four years expired, that wasn't bad. Now I got all the dishes loaded up because I do not want to know what that cheese sauce that I mixed up would smell like in the morning uh, now that it's been reconstituted with milk. Uh, milk alone smells pretty bad if you let it sit out. Whatever expired dehydrated dairy products that were long expired in that. I'm not, not a big fan of it. Cause, and basically that's what I thought. I was like, for it to make it cheese, it has to have some sort of dairy in the powder. And it was a powder, so it's probably fine. But I wasn't gonna risk it. <laughs> but without that, just using Fritos and pretty much just the rice and the seasoning packet. It was fine. Um, got me full at least. But anyways, yeah, so I'm gonna get the dishwasher running so that I don't have anything to worry about with that. For tomorrow, everything will be clean. And then, it's not too late. So I'll, and I, I think I have a vlog uploading now. Um, but I will. Read myself some Mordenkainen's Tome of Foes. Still just kind of working my way through that. And uh, kind of go to bed. So, thank you for joining me. Join me as my journey continues. Bye.